NASA finally realizes why Starship is better than SLS rocket. This year is set to be exciting for spaceflight, with two entirely new deep space rockets set to make their first voyages. NASA on Thursday, March 17th, rolled its hulking space launch system rocket to a launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The rocket is the backbone of NASA's new human spaceflight program, Artemis, which is currently aiming to put humans back on the moon by 2025. At the same time, private U.S. space company SpaceX is working on ambitious plans of its own. Over the past year or so, the world has watched as its upcoming rocket Starship has taken form, going through several prototypes on sometimes explosive test flights. Today we're going to talk about NASA's realization that Starship is better than the SLS rocket. I know we're all curious to know about the two rockets and how they compare and what features make this Starship stand out against the competitors. Well, stick around as we answer all these questions and more and take a deep dive into the mechanics of the two rockets. So let's begin the video. The Starship, SpaceX's underdeveloped rocket looks to impress. Musk reiterated that the specifications are still being finalized. As it stands, the booster measures 69 meters and the ship 50 meters to make a 119 meter tall construction. The ship itself has around 1200 tons of propellant and a thrust of around 1500 tons. The diameter of nine meters or 30 feet will stay around the same. The ship will send around 100 to 150 tons of space at a time, depending on the orbit. For orbit refilling, where a second Starship stays in space and refills a ship to complete the trip to Mars, Musk estimates that the ship could carry 200 tons of payload. The Super Heavy booster enables the Starship to break new records if all things go well. It has a propellant capacity of around 3,400 tons with the potential to expand to 3,800 tons. The booster features 33 engines, a figure that is varied during development between 29 and 37 engines. It has a thrust of around 7,600 tons, or 17 million pounds of thrust, which will likely increase over time. To put that in perspective with the Saturn V, the rocket that sent humans to the moon, the ship had a thrust of around 7.5 million pounds. To this day, the Saturn V remains the most powerful rocket to ever fly which means the Starship's booster has the potential to help it beat that record by a wide mile. The ship will use what Musk described as the world's largest heat shield. This will protect the ship as it enters Mars's atmosphere at speeds of around 17,000 miles per hour. Perseverance, NASA's latest Mars rover, reached temperatures of around 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit when it landed on Mars. Musk declared that the second-generation Raptor would greatly improve over its predecessor. It would offer 230 tons of thrust instead of the 185 tons of its predecessor, with the potential to reach 250 tons over time. It also costs around half as much to build thanks to a simplified design. In other words, the engine's chamber is under such intense heat, it's likely to melt at any point. Musk claimed that heat energy is on the order of a gigawatt. NASA's biggest dreams may soon come true thanks to its biggest ever rocket. On Thursday, March 17th, the agency rolled out the underdevelopment space launch system rocket fully stacked with the Orion spacecraft for the first time. The rocket is designed to support some of NASA's most ambitious missions yet. This particular rocket will eventually launch Artemis 1. Part of the Artemis program, a successor to the Apollo missions, Artemis 1 is slated to launch sometime this summer and involves sending an uncrewed Orion spacecraft 40,000 miles past the moon to demonstrate the spacecraft's capabilities. If Artemis 1 succeeds, then the subsequent Artemis 2 mission will send humans in the spacecraft around the moon, while Artemis 3 will see humans finally return to the moon's surface for the first time since 1972. Artemis 3 will also rely on SpaceX's mega rocket, the Starship. To propel Artemis 1 into space, the SLS needs a lot of power, and it has it. The SLS Block 1 configuration offers 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust at launch, around 15% more than the Saturn V rocket that remains the world's most powerful rocket ever to fly. The rocket is currently moving from High Bay 3 at the Vehicle Assembly Building out to Launch Complex 39B. Although the rocket is traveling only 4 miles, the crawler moves at a top speed of only 0.82 miles per hour. The crawler stopped for a brief period to adjust the crew access arm. Once at the launch pad, the team will complete the wet dress rehearsal. This will proceed throughout the month of March and into April. During the test, NASA will load over 700,000 gallons of cyrogenic propellant into the rocket's tanks like liquid hydrogen and oxygen. This will run through the expected phases of the countdown, including weather checks. Ultimately, this is just part of the battery of tests the SLS will have to undergo before launch. Once the rocket has completed its wet dress rehearsal, it'll roll back to the vehicle assembly building. T-1 
teams at the building will complete post-rehearsal checks before the pair roll back to the launch pad around one week ahead of the final launch. The data from these tests will help the agency determine a more specific final launch date. So are you guys enjoying the video? We've talked about the two rocket projects individually, but how do they stack up against each other and which one comes out on top? Let us give you a hint, it's the one that can be reused. So while you think, do subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive instant notification about all our future videos. Size One thing the two rockets have in common is that nothing like either of them has been seen since the mighty Saturn V rocket, which enabled the historic Apollo missions. SLS is slightly complicated in that it is expected to come in various combinations. Its first variation, Block 1, will stand at 322 feet tall and weigh 5.75 million pounds. Starship is set to be taller than SLS, standing at 394 feet with its cargo and booster stage combined. Power Orbital capacity figures publicly available on the NASA and SpaceX website aren't directly comparable. For example, NASA says SLS will be able to launch 46 metric tons to deep space, while SpaceX's Starship will be able to launch more than 100 metric tons into low Earth orbit. When it launches, Block 1 will produce 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust, which is 15% more than Saturn V produced. It'll be able to send more than 27 metric tons, or 59,500 pounds into orbits beyond the Moon. In its Block 2 configuration, SLS will produce 9.5 million pounds of thrust, and it'll be able to move more than 46 metric tons, or 101,400 pounds to deep space. According to SpaceX, the Starship Super Heavy booster stage will be able to provide 17 million pounds of thrust. Costs In terms of cost, there are a lot of uncertainties and ambitious figures flying around. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk expects Starship to be far cheaper than SLS in the long run. In a press briefing in February, he said he was highly confident that within a few years, Starship launches could cost less than $10 million. This would be a very low launch cost, even compared to the price to launch its much smaller Falcon 9 rocket, which is $67 million, but it's unclear how achievable it is. The cost per launch of SLS is also unclear, but in 2019, it was estimated by the White House Office of Management and Budget to be over $2 billion, though NASA has proposed to have launch costs. And in March this year, NASA Inspector General Paul Martin said it could cost $4.1 billion for an Artemis mission, Ars Technica reported. Cost is also tied into the fact that SpaceX intends Starship to be reusable, while the SLS isn't intended to be reusable. So when all factors are considered and compared, the final verdict is that SpaceX's Starship comes out on top, not just in terms of lower prices, but also in terms of increased power, cargo capacity, and reusability. In light of this, there is absolutely no denying that SpaceX now dominates rocket flight, bringing big benefits and risks to NASA. So, do you think a rocket company exists out there that can beat Elon Musk's SpaceX in developing a rocket? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to watch more of our amazing videos, then stay tuned.